Welcome back to Get Google Ready in 2023. And in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through the optimization steps that you need to be using to optimize your Performance Max campaign. And we're gonna be especially focusing on how you can go through and review and optimize your ad assets and also your product feed, especially if you're using Performance Max for an e-commerce campaign. But before we get into that teaching, just in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads Master. And the optimization strategies which I'm gonna be sharing with you has come from me creating and optimizing Google Ads campaigns since 2010. And to help you with your learning throughout this video, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist. And this is a checklist which I've put together which lets you know exactly what you need to be optimizing in your Performance Max campaigns every 72 hours, every week, every month, and every 90 days. And as you'll see when we get into the screen share, I'll show you how to use this checklist as we go through and optimize your Performance Max campaigns. But with all that said, let's get into today's teaching. So this is the Google Ads e-commerce optimization checklist that you can use. And what we're gonna be going through today is I'm gonna be showing you how to go through and review your ad assets. And that's when we go through and review the different headlines, descriptions, long descriptions, images, and videos in our asset groups. And then I'm also gonna be showing you how to optimize your product feed. And that's gonna be especially for Performance Max campaigns that have a shopping feed, so in that e-commerce space. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go into your individual Performance Max campaign, and then you wanna go into your asset groups. And you'll remember when we went through the campaign setup for your Performance Max campaigns, I made a point that you need to be breaking your asset groups into different collections of products or services. So you can see in this one, we've broken it into one bedroom villa and two bedroom villa. And then from there, you wanna go into the view details section. And what you're looking at here is that when you're in the view details, you wanna go into the performance section. And what you're looking at here is that Google will give you a score at three levels, either low, good, or best. And you wanna be going through and removing any of those assets which have a low score. So in here we can see this one, One Bedroom Villa Samanyak has the low score, whereas the ones that have the best are Skinny Dip in Your Own Pool or Guaranteed Best Price. And then we can also see this low one here, Relax in a One Bedroom Villa Samanyak. And you can also do this same process for all of your images and also your videos. And if you ever get a situation where it says pending, that just means that there's not enough data yet. So for this asset group at the moment, we've got a couple of different headlines and long headlines that we want to be reviewing. That's this one in here and also this relax in a one bedroom seminar. So where we want to go is we just go through and click the blue pencil icon. And you may remember that this is one of the headlines that was performing low. And you can either type in your own headline or you can use the recommendation that Google gives you. But let's just go with this one. And we're going to try this new one, which is luxury one bedroom villas. And then you may remember that this was the other one, which which was a low and we would do the same thing again. We've just gone through and I've now added in a new long headline which is enjoy the luxury of a one bedroom villa in Seminar. And then when we're happy with that, we then go through and click save. And what you will notice when you go back into that view details section is that you can see now that this ad is now under review again and you can see that new headline that we added is now pending. And what that means is that we need Google to now add in some extra data before we can come back and review this again. And that's why I recommend that you go through and complete this review ad asset every month. You could do it every three weeks, but what the process of what we're doing here is we're looking to take out those headlines, descriptions, and long descriptions that have a low performance and replace them so that we can split test another set of ad copy or images. Now let's go into how you go through and optimize your product feed. And for this one, we're gonna go into a different Performance Max campaign, which has a shopping feed active. And we wanna go into the listing groups. And what we're doing in this listing groups is we're going through, and it's a similar process to if you've done this in a shopping campaign before, is that you're going through and making sure that where you're spending the most amount of money is where you're actually getting a good level of results as well. So you can see in this account, they've got a conversion value cost of 5.45 with a cost per conversion of just over $17. So what you wanna be looking at is they're the two core metrics you wanna be looking at. Also taking into account the total conversion value. And then we wanna go through and filter this by cost and making sure that where we're spending the most amount of money is also where we're getting the most amount of revenue and and also the highest ROAS. And you can see that with these top 10 performing products, they're all performing really, really well. And there is this product down here. Now I wouldn't exclude 
exclude this is because it's only got $13 of spend. But let's just say you had this product at the top here, which had you know about a thousand dollars of spend. And if it's number of conversions and its conversion value is really low, you could then go through and make the decision to exclude it. Now, the other thing that I do want to stress on this is that when you're making these decisions, is that you want to go through and make the decision not only on the last 30 days, you also want to go through and review it and make it on the last 60 days. And also you'd want to go through and do it on the last 90 days. And the reason for that is that you want to make sure that when you're reviewing this data is that that product is underperforming over a long period of time. So as you can see, we've already made the decision to exclude some of these products right at the start. And after we reviewed those products, it greatly increased the performance of this campaign. And the reason for that is because we were now focusing the spending on the best performing products in our Performance Max campaign. Thank you for joining me. It was my pleasure to take you through some of the steps and how you can optimize your Performance Max campaigns. And remember, if you want to get access to my e-commerce Google Ads optimization checklist, so you've got that full list of what optimization actions you need to be completing in your Performance Max campaign, just make sure you follow that link in the description below. And then finally, remember that if you want to stay notified every time I release a new video in this teaching series, but also as well when I release any new content on YouTube, make sure that you've not only subscribed to my channel, but you've also turned on that notification button. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time. See ya.